Welcome back, everybody, on this Wednesday night. I'm Hope Hines here with David Davenport, who is the CEO and the owner of uh, Shoney's, uh, Deputy Chief uh, Brian Johnson, and Officer Candace Martin. And we're all here to talk about Saturday's 7th Annual Shoney's Fun Run. It's open to everybody. It's $30 uh, right now. It would be $35 a day of the event. Correct. But maybe, David, from your heart, yes, sir. the best thing about Saturday morning is that Shoney's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shoney's breakfast alone worth more than $35. Well, that's what I'm you saying. You get it for free. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So all the participants and everybody that's there gets to participate in that, and that'll be that's always a wonderful thing, and the kids love it, of course, and everybody right. gets to take part. Right. Like you said, I think a minute ago, Brian, it's a win-win for everybody it is. that comes out uh, uh, on that it on, is. on that. You were saying Saturday. earlier that you know, that one of the things the citizens can do is come up and, and shake the officers' hands, but uh, it gets us the opportunity to do the same thing and shake the hands of the, of the citizens yeah. who, who are there to support us because uh, that support is vital to our success. And never, never is it more important in the, the history of our country, I think, than it is today, given what's been happening in Baltimore, that the police and the community shake hands and get together, be close, love each other, love one another, uh, do for each other, stand by each other. I mean, you know, we just have to do that. Right. Uh, look, we all understand what, what happened and what went down in Baltimore. Uh, there's enough error on both sides of the street there, shall we say. Uh, you can hurl, you know, innuendos and insults at, uh, at uh, officers and deputies and people in authority and uh, people in the street. So we've got to find a common way and common ground to come together. And like what David Davenport is doing here in Nashville, Tennessee, should set an example for all of us. Absolutely. Where the community and the police come together through an entrepreneur such as David. Yeah, and we're so Congratulations, well, sir. Well, thank you. Thank no, no, you. seriously. I mean, more people need to be doing that, not only here in Nashville, but across the country. You know, That's the kind of thing we have to right. engage ourselves in. You know, as, as an American, this is my token of appreciation. Yes. As a citizen of Nashville, that's my token of appreciation right. to say, uh, men and women in blue, thank you for what you do 24-7, uh, 365 days a year. Yep. That's all you yep. do. Yep. I mean, I, I respect people in uniform. Sure, are, sure. Are, you know, men and women overseas, they protect us from enemy. Exactly. And respectfully, a police officer protecting us from the bad guy. Right, exactly. You know, right. bad guy could be born in our own city. Oh, yes, absolutely. In our own country, right, bad guy right, could right. be born here. And right. In every society, every community you go, there's good guy and bad guys, and we got them. And it wasn't because... And we'll continue to have them. <laughs> <laughs> right. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Right. Yeah. It wasn't because of what they do. Right. It would not be easy for me right. to sell that beautiful breakfast on, 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 no, on every is day. True. This is true. Shoney's breakfast would not be easy to be served. It wasn't because of what they do. And this is our way on behalf of Shoney's team, behalf of myself, behalf of everyone to right. say thank you. I publicly want to say thank you privately every day. I thank you for what I do. Right. And, and, and then, of course, this is a testimony of what we do in Nashville. We haven't had any of these incidents, and I hope to God no, I, we're I, never going to have any of these events because exactly. Chief Anderson and his team, they really truly run on a good show. Mm -hmm. They do uh, community policing. Right. But community policing means exactly right. what we're doing, like events right. like this Saturday. Get involved with the churches. Get involved with all of us right. to be all once. Because if I may add one more thing to sure. this, I think nobody, no crime could be solved without intelligent, human intelligence right. on the ground. Right. No weapon could help. Right. Only could help its education and intelligence from human being. Right. And human being gotta we gotta know one another. Yeah in order to be able to communicate right. with one another. And people, and people uh, in authority, such as yourself, and, and, and the community who have the wherewithal to, to make this sort of thing happen, make it public, let everybody see, do you know, police officers are good people. Police officers have families mm -hmm. just like anybody right. else, ladies right. and gentlemen. Right. Sometimes we tend to forget that. Right. We see them out there with the shields and the guns and the everything that they have to carry around, and yet we tend to dehumanize them all too often. But you guys have wives and husbands and children right. and just Absolutely. like anybody else. And Which so is why I'm in school to set an example for my children. Good to for you. show that you can you can be successful and also go to school to make yourself more successful. And right. that, that's the example that I'm setting for my children. Right. And it's an excellent example, by the mm -hmm. way. Tell me again, your major again. Conflict resolution. Now tell tell us I'm interested in that. I've never heard of that before. Tell me what that is all about. I understand what conflict resolution is, mm -hmm. but let me hear it from 
from a professional standpoint? Um, conflict resolution is where you uh, you set up mediation to set and resolve a conflict between two different parties, whether it's um, whether it's domestic or criminal, you know, right. any of that nature, right. and you diff diffuse the situation. So this further helps me with my career because I'm also a negotiator so it also gives me more of a you know an understanding of what I'm doing right. to better you know work in my field of, in negotiations. So it could be a hostage situation. Yes. It mm -hmm. could be a domestic situation as you said a moment yes. ago where you're on the scene and you're perhaps using a bullhorn or whatever you mm -hmm. have to do to communicate or you're on the cell phone trying to talk to this individual mm -hmm. uh, inside a closed uh, building somehow and try to talk them down, talk them out, mm -hmm. get them calm, we can resolve this. And no it gives to you go. the tools to do it in a peaceful manner. Right. Mm -hmm. And hopefully that would be the outcome, a yes. peaceful right. outcome where yes, nobody gets hurt, resolution. everybody goes home at the end of the day, or maybe the, the bad guy didn't go home, maybe he goes mm -hmm. to jail, but <laughs> in any event, the officers go home, nobody gets hurt. And that's, anytime you make a call, I would assume, that's what you want to happen. Everybody goes home safe. That's right. Yes. That's our goal every day. That is our goal. Right, right. And you Because we have families to go home to as well. Absolutely you do. <laughs> yeah. I, I, as I said a moment ago, I think sometimes in the general public, we tend to forget that because we see you uh, as a force, kind of, you know. Right. Not bad guys by any stretch, but you, you set the rules and regulations for me and him and everybody else, whether it's driving too fast on the highway, whether it's running a stop sign, whether it's your tag or whether it's your light is out, whatever the case may be, right. that's your job, though. Mm -hmm. We all have to be regulated, right. and some, sometimes but, people interpret it wrong. Though. We uh, we just recently uh, completed a very successful program that we think may be the first in the nation over at Tennessee State University, and we had a Citizens Collegiate Police Academy, Wow. where approximately 25 young men uh, that are students at TSU, we put on a, a Citizens Academy for them so they could get a better understanding of the police department, what it is we do, why we do it, and those very type good. things. But one of the one of the, the key elements of that hope is is what Chief Anderson told the group the first night, and that was, he said, once you get to know us, you'll probably get to like us, <laughs> and, and that's the thing about the true. relationship that David's sure helping is. helping build through the Shoney's 5K Fun Run right. is people can come down and get to know us right. because people are standoffish. The uniform. Mm -hmm. uh, can make some people not feel comfortable oh, sure coming up and talking to you. And quite frankly, sometimes if they want to approach you and you're mm -hmm. busy doing something, you're not, you don't seem approachable. Right, I know. And the Shoney's 5K to gives us that opportunity. To, to a lot of people, that badge and that uniform is a threat. There's how, no question about it. However, the conversation on the break I had, you and I talked about, y y y y the way you're approaching it along with Chief Anderson and your team is that you're the protector. That's right, the guardian. That's right, the mm -hmm. guardian, the protector of all of us. And that's what I would like to make sure everybody to understand that they, these guys are not the enemy. These guys are not the bad guy. These guys are the, no, no, no. the protectors of what we do out of here. Right. And yeah. knowing is half the problem because they don't have the knowledge of knowing that we are approachable. Right. We're here for you. We're here for the public. Right. Because after all, you are a servant. That's right. Yes, we are. I mean, you are. You're a servant to the community, to You're the people you serve, to the taxpayers who pay your salaries. Now, sometimes you have to lock them up, and we all understand that. But at the same time, you are a servant to the community. I don't hope. That is our department. The police department is our department. That's They're right. working in it. That's right. That's, That's right. right. It exactly. belongs to the citizens of right. Nashville. Absolutely. And Chief Anderson, myself, mm -hmm. Officer Martin, and all the other officers mm -hmm. on, and members of the department right. happen to be employed there to manage the department exactly. and to run the department, but it's not our department. It Correct. belongs to the citizens of Nashville. Right. right, right. And you people are fun people just like anybody else. You do the things that everybody else does. You take your kids swimming. You take them to, to the lake fishing. Mm -hmm. You play ball with them. You take them to the movies. You, you know, all of that. That's right. And so we just kind of all need to understand that and get in here together and just just have uh, enjoy this life that we're given and privileged and blessed to have yes now uh, David yes sir for every dollar that comes in on Saturday yes sir what do you do <laughs> there you go we can you hold for the big ones yes 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 in, in, your, need, we, in, 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 in your honor once again I'm oh, willing, oh, I'm, 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 I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'm willing to match a dollar for a dollar See, how many of our cities are going to show up with their children to come out of there wow. to participate wow. 
And by the way, it's going to be beautiful, sunny, nice. It is going to be nice. Yes. It is Absolutely. Be yeah. and, and nothing better than that to come out there and celebrate that day with our police officer. But it's right. our department. Right, exactly. And, and well, salute, salute our team. These the, are our team. The good, you know, the people we hire to protect us. We've got to come out of there, shake their hand. We do an easy 5K run for them. Enjoy the Shoney's breakfast. You got some music. You and got, put music you got and music, face right. painting for the children, right. jumping jump for the children, right. all kind of activity for exactly. the kids from every aspect. All the police got all those things. We got all kind of activity for the kids as well from Shoney's and our partners right. that they help us to put this together. Maybe all going to be out there, and and then and then there's going to be one k fun run for the kids as well. After the five k is finished, there's one k fun run for the kids, and all also, ages, all ages, so long as they're under ten and eleven, and the kids are also going to win prizes right, as well right, for right. all of that. Right. And so we're going to have a big, big, big day, and then whatever is raised. I'll match a dollar for a dollar. Match it for a dollar for a dollar. Honor, honorable hope words. That's what it is. <laughs> Be sure you come out so we can take some more money out of his pocket. How about that? We need, to, we need to do that. By the way, uh, Titan Andy Lavitri is going to be the special guest. That's right. I think he's probably going to fire the gun. That's uh, right. gets everybody started on top of the uh, bridge up there. Not a mean gun, it's just an easy gun. Well, yeah. I mean, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, exactly. the starter's gun, <laughs> shall we say. It has blanks in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's right. But right. you know, if you are interested in law enforcement, if you're interested in your community, uh, you want to come out and see uh, the tools of the trade, shall we say, uh, that the officers use. You'll see everything there from uh, the helicopter. And you got, how many, you got two or three, right? A couple? Yes. Uh, helicopters, and those are only called out when needed, of course. But I was last year I was talking to one of the pilots. I mean, that's what he does yeah. mm -hmm. uh, full time. Right. And so they're there on call for whenever you need them in the sky and right. uh, chasing the bad guys or whoever they're, whatever the case may be. You'll see the SWAT team. That's right. Yes. See the rookies out there in their shorts and their sweats and, the, and their T-shirts and they're getting it on. And the kids uh, can <laughs> touch, go inside the helicopter. Absolutely. They go inside the police mm -hmm. car, get the motorcycle, right. motor motorcycles. They could touch anything they want to do that day. It's a free day. It that's is right. It's a day to play with the police wait, tool, wait, toys. Wait, wait, yeah, what do we got right, down that's here? Right, that's right. That's whoa, right. That's David. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> 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 and he is here, here. And in addition to all of this, participant, they're going to get a beautiful, perhaps, a Shoney Bear, as you can see. It. Wow, okay. They're going to get, here's the T-shirt. Here's the incredible looking T-shirt. They're going to get out of a hope, which all wow, they're going to here for you. Look at that. It can't Man, be that's better beautiful. than that, huh? Yes, I like that. That's you great. Know, and the T-shirt alone is about 30 bucks. Whoa. <laughs> yes, you do. Very good. So that's, that's then, just uh, and some then, of the parting you, gifts. You name it. I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a surprise gift in here. Gift I can't tell you what it is that okay. they come that all day. Okay, all right. Okay. And, and you, you, you know, all kind of goodies that oh, he needs from man. some of our vendor partners. They coming out here. You name it. This, this is a special <laughs> drink for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not yours. It's mine, right? <laughs> there, there's a book here. You know, growth attack, marketing. Okay, and, and, great. And, you know, okay. You, so a nice here. goodie bag, shall That's we right. say. That's right, nice goodie bag. You're from, absolutely uh, from right. From Shoney's. Yeah. From That's what you'll Shoney's, get yeah. for yeah, only $30. And you get a big Shoney's meal. Shoney's meal. Shoney's for legendary breakfast. I was going to say, right. what, is, uh, what are the things? Your one of the great things Shoney has always been known for and still are, that is that breakfast in the morning. All you can eat, it'll be right out there. And, uh, uh, and, so we're and you don't have to pay for it. No, that's right. Exactly. Part of, part no, of the I, price. I, I got it. I got that's it. Right. Uh, and don't forget the the uh, the officers will be there. Uh, as we, we talked about some of the hardware, those beautiful uh, Tennessee walking horses. Uh, they are walking horses. Yes, I think most are. of them are. Yes, I think that's what I, I remember from they last are. year. And they are there, and you can talk to the officers who ride those animals. And what I found out, I should have known this, but in talking to one of the officers who rides a horse, that's his horse. He takes care of that horse. Yes. He mm -hmm. makes sure that horse is fed. If that horse needs a vet, he, he's the guy that they call. That's it's right. like mm -hmm. the canines, right? It I is. mean, those 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 uh, those dogs are those personal uh, dogs of the officers. They stay with them. They sleep with them. I guess they, maybe they don't sleep with them. Whatever. <laughs> but they stay in their house. They, they become yeah. members of the family. They become, they, they become they members sure of the do. family, and it's a very very uh, bonding attachment that they have, as I'm sure the guys with the horses as well. It is. So, and very, 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 very needed by every community the size of Nashville and, uh, and bigger, of course, to have the and, animals. And one, one more thing I've noticed every year, all the chiefs, all the commanders, they're coming to that event. Yes. Nobody misses that. Right. Yeah, so that's the message good. from you, Chief, let every officer that off-duty, they're welcome to bring their family 
right. and it's for the right cause. Absolutely. Give them an order, my man. <laughs> and listen to you, not me. <laughs> they could all come join us and, right. and then celebrate you know, that day and also add on to the fun. You know, we imagine a dollar for that. That's, right. That's smart, you know. Exactly. That's right. And, yep. and, and then all of one of the co-workers, one of the officers, one of the teammates yeah. is going to be able to go to college, and that right. is a noble cause. They may that be a alone. recipient themselves. Right. That's, right. Yes. That's right. That now, alone is a noble cause, what we're doing on Saturday. That Dennis, really you were the first recipient, or the first and the second recipient, right, mm -hmm. of, of, uh, of the scholarship. Now there will be a... They are total, so far we have given the past couple of years, 28 officers have received oh, this. Oh, 28, I'm sorry. That's right. Yes. Okay, That's 28 right. then. All right, you're, you're just right. one of them then. Yes. But you've won it twice. I've won it twice. Won it twice. Yeah. The stage so, wasn't big enough to bring them all here. No, I... 28 of them. <laughs> we'd have to build a new studio for that next year. But someone will be honored with another scholarship this year, right? It's not yeah. just one. They could. It's up to they, them. Oh, it could be I see. Okay, it could be high. Oh, okay. Could get, all right. They gotta so, all right. Tell me how that works. Then, you, how do you, do you go through a selection process? I'm sure you do. They got apply. Yes, they do. And and the the fund is is not managed by the police department. It's actually managed for us by the community foundation. Okay. Okay. So uh, the director of that, the president, Ellen Lehman, has, has been very gracious in, in helping us. Uh, and managing the fund for us. So they actually are the ones that choose, and, and Candace, uh, being a recipient, can explain it to you, but they apply. Right, okay. Uh, they apply for it. Uh, we do have to write a paper of, you know, why showing, you showing why we're deserving mm -hmm. and why we chose to feel, we, you know, we're getting our, right. we're seeking our degree right. in. So mm -hmm. I would assume that grades is just part of it. Character I'm, would yes. be a part of it. I mean, mm -hmm. all work ethic would be a part of it. How mm -hmm. well you do your job, how well you've done. So all of those things play into. And, and, and mm -hmm. coming to Shoney's 5K also is part of it too. <laughs> right. They yeah, exactly. show up, otherwise they right. would never know. And how many <laughs> times a month you eat at Shoney's? That, that, that has to <laughs> yeah, also. That, 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 <laughs> my that, son that does love the pancakes. <laughs> no few <laughs> items of no breakfast. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> well, listen. Let's go over it one more time, David, before yes, I sir. have to say so long to everybody here. Yeah. Uh, Saturday morning. Give it. Give it. To us again. At seven o'clock. Show up at seven o'clock. That's fine. Seven o'clock. There are goodies available for you even at seven o'clock. You're gonna have, believe it or not, last year we had all you know uh, helicopters from right. local TV, radio, public, you know, police. Everybody was out there. A lot of excitement. Sure. You know, really, and Mother Nature is gonna be very nice to us, right. based on the what reports that we're getting. And, and and then you know, and then the race really after we register. The race is going to start at, at 8 a.m. and it's going to go through beautiful downtown Nashville over the bridge. Right. And we're going to go all the way down and come back again to the same spot. Right. And of course, it's this is high end, really high technology. You get a little clip you put on your on your shoes. Ooh. You don't have to worry about a thing. Just go, just run. Then, exactly. There's no cheating involved here. Yeah, good. You know what I good. mean? It's I just straightforward. Yeah, yeah. You mean I can't start at the quarter mile, what, what put me in, and jump in and say, "Hey, no. I won." <laughs> <laughs> I well, hell no. no. That's not no. acceptable. No, I'm it's not. The police is watching. You kidding me? <laughs> it's the only way I can ever win, though, no, David. It's the only way I can win. My goal is to keep up with David. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Right. I'm sure you will. <laughs> All right, so there'll be a big crowd, and uh, Deputy Chief, you'll be there. Yes, sir. I sure will. And Candice, will you be there? I will be in class. Okay. Class well, then you, you do mm -hmm. well in classes. I know you will. And well, excuse maybe me. Maybe you'll be there yeah, next year. She's yeah. well excused. Absolutely. David, always a pleasure, my friend. It's honor, sir. Thank you thank for you, having sir. us here. I appreciate you Brian, very much. Brian, thanks for being here. Thank you. Dennis, thank you for being thank here. Thank you for having me. We will see you all Saturday morning. I'll be there at 7 o'clock and uh, look forward to seeing you for the Shoney's Fun 5K Fun Run. $30 in advance, $35 if you just want to show up that day. It'll be a big day. The weather's going to be great. All right, stay tuned. Steve Lehman is going to join me up here on the set. We're talking sports with you right after this. Mm -hmm.